Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is your daily tea and tarot for Monday, I'm sorry, for Tuesday, September the 1st, 2020. Today is the first day of September. Man, it's like, where did summer go? Like, didn't we just hit June and now it's September already? It's unbelievable. Anyway, I'm up this morning and I'm ready to get started on these readings. Not only is it the first day of September, but it is also the day of Mars. Today's energy is all about passion. It's all about burning uh, frankincense. It's all about passion. It's all about um, aggression. It's all about taking charge. It's all about doing things that, um, you know, you normally put off. You know, it's today's day to take that action and to do what's necessary to get things done. Okay. Mm, I look crazy. Okay. Um, as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends, share with your family. Comment down below and let me know if today's daily tea has resonated with you. Um, I am burning some frankincense this morning. I am, um, feeling a need of openness with spirit. I feel like this dream I had last night was crazy. I know with the new, with the full moon being in Pisces today, I know, you know, it's, um, Dreams have been crazy for a lot of people, but my dreams have been crazy, so definitely. Um, some eye-opening, you know, powerful messages in these dreams, though, you know, about some childhood traumas. So, I'm appreciative of the energy, so I just figured I'd burn some frankincense because, um, first of all, I love the way frankincense smells and the benefits of frankincense, you know? So, you might see the smoke in the background a little bit. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started for today, September 1st, Tuesday, September 1st, 2020. Spirit, let us know what message you may have for anyone who may need them the most. Spirit, do you have any messages today for anyone who might need them, need them the most? Mm, interesting card to come out. Well, we have the Three of Cups reversed, and we also have the Queen of Pent. I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands. Fire energy, okay? Leo, Sag, Aries. Doesn't have to be. It's just, you know, vibrations of basically someone who is confident and secure in themselves. You know what I'm saying? Got my tea today. <laughs> I feel like someone is losing direction, or they're feeling like they don't have direction. I feel like they're incapable of something. Someone has something they need to say, maybe communicate some long-term change with somebody. Maybe someone doesn't want to reunite with someone, or maybe someone's debating about reuniting with someone. We'll see as we get more cards. I need one more card, Spirit. Not too many. One more card, Spirit. Okay, we'll see how many cards that is. Of course they fall. Okay. Mm. We have the Magician and the Eight of Wands reversed, both of them reversed, and New Beginnings. So it looks like um, this reading is based on New Beginnings, planting some seeds for prosperity. I'm just gonna, you know, just kinda Get a little smoke going around here. Um, Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, right off the rip, right? I feel like there's people who want to reunite or at least they're or at least they are debating it's so crooked at least they are debating about reuniting we're gonna get some clarity on the table right we definitely need our clarity
Hope I don't set the smoke alarm on. We'll see. Okay, Spirit, please clarify the Three of Cups reversed. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Cups reversed. Like I said, this is about a new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning. They want to plant new seeds. You know, someone could also be pregnant. It's very possible. I'm getting that with, I'm getting a feeling of pregnancy, but I'm also getting a feeling of just planning something new, doing something different. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Cups reverse. Ooh, someone could be cheating. Hold on. So it's an unhappy family vibe going on over here. Like someone is feeling like they're losing their they're losing their soulmate or something like that. I promise you, like, look, we have the three of cups reversed, being clarified by the lover's card reversed and the ten of cups reversed. Like somebody doesn't want to want someone anymore. I feel like they're cheating. I feel like they they're tired. Like they don't want to be a part of that tr love triangle anymore. And then of course we have the Queen of Wands. You know, Leo, Sag, Aries vibes. Could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Who knows, right? But let's keep going. All right, Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Wands. We've got the Ace of Swords so far. Communication, new ideas. So this Queen has some new ideas. Okay, Three of Cups again reversed. Damn, this this Queen don't want no parts of this. Mm. She don't want no parts of that. She got some new plans, okay? She refocusing. Definitely. Spirit, please clarify the chariot. Ooh, she's making peace with the situation. Okay. Not only say she because it's a queen, but it could be a he, okay? She's making peace with the situation. She's realizing there's no. it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, and she's making peace with it. It's definitely three people involved. So a guy or could be playing two two women, or um, a woman could be playing two men, or a woman could be playing two women, or a man could be playing two men. You know what I'm saying? It's it goes whatever way, okay? Somebody definitely like you know playing. They 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 ride in the fence though. I tell you that. Spirit, please clarify the chariot reverse. One more card for the chariot reverse, spirit. Okay, I'll take two more cards. A Libra card, Justice, Reverse, and a Nine of Swords. I feel like if something is not fair, okay? If it's not a Libra involved, there is just not something is not fair to them. But they're not regretful. You know, they're not depressed about the situation. They're making peace with it. This is very interesting based off the night I had last night, okay? Mm. Now, the Knight of Swords here. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and we also have the Queen of Wands. Um, something needs to be communicated, definitely. Something needs to be communicated. Mm, let's get a little bit more frankincense over here. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, something needs to be communicated. Someone is lying. And they don't really know what to say. They don't even know what to tell this fire energy. And I got the Queen of Wands twice already, okay? So definitely may resonate with some Leo, some Sagittarius, and some Aries, all right? Now let's clarify the Magician Reverse and the Eight of Wands Reverse. Slow-moving energy. Someone is being sneaky and mischievous. It's more going on than you, than you know. I see family. I actually see a connected family bond. Um, maybe even possibly making money together as one, you know, but I see abundance and happiness. I see like, you know, what's good is good for the family, you know, a lot of beneficial like type of abundance for everybody. Spirit, please clarify the magician reverse and the eight of wands reverse. It could definitely resonate with some Aries with the, um, the fire energy and that, um, that, um, magician in reverse. Mm. So someone has some secrets to tell and they haven't re they haven't revealed them yet. It looks like they're 
they may be wanting to start a new beginning. Like they're reconciling with someone maybe or ex exposing some truths about themselves. Yeah, I see a building energy. Like they're going to work together with this individual, which could, I mean, it makes sense because it seems like somebody didn't want to be a part of this situation no more because someone is very sneaky. Someone is very mischievous. You know, they have a lot of tricks up their sleeve. You know what I'm saying? A lot of tricks up their sleeve. And everything hasn't been said. You know, they're not telling you the whole story. They are keeping things from you. And I was going to pull some cards about my situation that took place last night, but I didn't even bother. But it sounds like this resonates very much with what I went through last night. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, okay, Spirit, final confirmation for the Three of Cups reverse. Fast change is coming in for you, okay? This is, and it's based off of actions. It's based off of someone else's actions. This is what's going to bring that quick change, okay? Let's get that Frankincense over there again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of Frankincense. It's like, it relaxes me. I can't really explain it. It just does. Okay, Spirit, please. Final confirmation. Mm. So like I said, this is a fast change based off of actions, okay? You tired of this three third party situation, this love triangle, all right? It's not what you want, okay? I feel like this person, you know, you're very bonded or very close to this person, but they just they may just not be ready for you. It's crazy cuz I see these new seeds being planted, so some of you could be reconciling you know, leaving out one third party person and moving towards another third party, you know, another person. It's very possible. But I'm getting this very creative, special energy about the Leo Virgo, I'm sorry, the Leo Sag Aries energy. Like, you're better than this. That's what I'm getting. You're better than this. Spirit, please give confirmation for the chariot reversed. There goes that 10 of cups again. Flipped right on now. And it was in reverse, just like the reversal over here. You're moving on. You're moving. That's the. I think that's you. You're moving on. Okay. You're getting a wake up call. Spirit is trying to awaken you to this situation. Pay attention. Okay. Pay attention. Mm. Personal growth. You know, like you don't have time for this. You know, they don't really know. And the crazy part is I feel like what needs to be communicated to you from either this fire sign or this air sign, what needs to be communicated to you, it's like they don't know how to say it, so they keep lying, okay? But that nine of pentacles tells me that you've grown so much that you don't even care. Mm. Spirit, one more card for the magician reverse and the eight of wands reverse. Final confirmation. You are no longer even worried about it. Like, you're out your head about this. It doesn't even bother you anymore. You want a new beginning. There is a new beginning coming from you, coming for you, okay? I feel like it's slowly happening, you know, and it's some changes probably taking place. And it might involve the air sign or the Libra, because I told you it's a um, justice card reverse, or it could involve an Aries. Like I said, okay, we have the... Um, Magician reverse. Very possible it can, it can involve either one of those signs or maybe even both, you know? But there's a new beginning, okay? And I'm getting this whole vibe that um, it's a spiritual journey for some of you. For some of you, it's trenching some waters or trenching some, you know, some space you've never been in before. So it's difficult. But the good news is you're no longer mentally driving yourself crazy about the situation, about any situation. You're kind of done with that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to feel that no more. You just don't. Oh, y'all see the earrings I made myself a couple years ago? They're feathers. Um, sorry. <laughs> Completely random. But, um, yeah, I just kind of feel like it's like you've, you're, you're better than this. You've realized you're better than this situation. So you're not even going crazy about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you've let go of the need or you've let go of trying to figure it out. You're just done trying to figure it out, which is a good thing for you. You know what I'm saying? My phone keeps tilting. I got to get a new LED ring today or sometime soon. You're tired of trying to figure it out. You're just ready for what's next. I know me personally, this definitely resonates with me today. And I am moving in November. So, I mean, 
And I am tired of the third party situation. Absolutely. Excuse my language. <laughs> I am tired of the third party situation. I know I have some children that watch me. Um, one of my friend's sons watches my channel. So I try not to curse as much as I used to. But, yeah. You, I, I'm moving. So I'm tired of the third party situation. It's just, it's just too much. But yeah, new seeds are being planted right now for a lot of growth. I feel like someone is being greedy. Someone is being very greedy with their emotions. They want it all, you know, and they just can't make a decision. And it's not really, you know, they can't make a decision. And with that two of swords reverse, I feel like not only can they not make a decision, but they have some things that they haven't told you. Everything hasn't been said, so take that as you may. All right. Um, this was a very interesting reading today. Um, I hope that this, you know, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's Daily Tea and Tarot for September 1st, 2020. If it has resonated with you, please be so kind as leave a comment down below in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, give me that thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're looking for a private, more in-depth personal reading, you can always email me at theblackcosmicholdren at gmail.com. You're also more than welcome to message me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave the links down below for you guys. And that is it for today's Daily Tea and Terrible. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you very, very soon on the remainder of my Zodiacs for the month of September. Um, if your Zodiac has already been read for the month of September, I'll check you tomorrow during Daily Tea and Tarot. All right, y'all, as always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got no love for y'all. Peace.